Good morning, um, I'm on my way to pick up my mother-in-law. Um, I'm gonna take her shopping in the, it's the closest city to us, it's Southampton. It's a give or take, or well, just over 40 miles from us. Um, it's a trip that I had no intention of doing, but um, as I'll explain throughout the course of the day, actually, because I own an EV, it makes sense to do it. Um, uh, and I'll explain that a little bit better, but it's kind of, having had the uh, trials and tribulations, I guess, of the long journey in this car, so 250 miles on a 24 kilowatt hour battery, uh, yes, it was possible. Yes, this car is incredibly comfortable and perfectly cap capable of doing it. The battery limits it. And um, whilst I was happy doing it, uh, as you, if you saw the last vlog, um, Sarah, well, to say she was able to grin and bear it is probably being a little bit generous to her. She's um, probably a lot more like most people. Um, a car, the point of having a car is you can get in it and not have to think too much, just worry about your drive um, to where you're going. You have to do a lot more thinking with a small battery on a long journey. But that's not why we bought this car. We didn't buy this car to do long journeys like that. We bought this car for everyday driving. Um, you know, most days I probably do 60 miles tops. Uh, this car is absolutely brilliant for everyday driving. And uh, today is a brilliant example of how, for me, I think it actually improves your life. It, it's given me a day out today that I wouldn't have had in my petrol car. Um, but I'm nearly at my mother-in-law, so I'm gonna pick her up uh, and I'll explain a little bit more about that later on. I nearly forgot my purse. Right. I nearly forgot my phone. Sorry, but I've got them now. And I have got my marbles as well. Sure. Yeah, right, yeah. Dave's going to take the kids <laughs> to your house. There we go, we've arrived. Um, Mother-in-law's gone off shopping. I'm heading up to the uh, top of Ikea to get myself some lunch. Now, all I actually need to buy today is a picture frame and some new coffee capsules for my um, Nespresso machine. I could order that on the internet. It'd take me 30 minutes tops. But because I've got a, an EV, because it costs me next to nothing, and I'll explain how it's pretty much costing me nothing today in a bit, I thought, why not have a day out? And not only has it benefited me from having a day out, my mother-in-law's come along, and my father-in-law has avoided shopping altogether. So um, he hasn't had to bring my mother-in-law Christmas shopping. So we've left him quite happy with a cup of tea and a biscuit. So it's win-win for everyone. Well, there you go, that couldn't have been any easier. I've um, managed to get six pound back on my bill. And um, I think the actual charge has only cost me about four pound and 10 pence or something. So um, I'm quids in, which is great. Uh, and it was perfect timing. Just as I arrived at the till, I got the notification to say my charge had finished. So I'm just gonna move the car before I now go into town and do a bit more shopping. Got to be honest, I'm not a big lover of uh, rapid charges at destinations like shopping centres. Um, I find people have a tendency just to leave their cars there for too long uh, while they're shopping. Understandably, I guess people get carried away. I, for what a rapid charge actually costs, I'd rather see a row of seven kilowatt posts uh, and a bit more of an acceptance that if you're going to go shopping for two or three hours, you leave your car there. Uh, I think it'd be better for everybody and it would stop a lot of, um, of the stresses that come from trying to rapid charge. But that said, this one's normally free, uh, as in available when I arrive. Uh, it always gets me charged up. And, um, you know, as I've said before, it's, um, I've actually made money by plugging into it today. Oh, uh, you got it. Brilliant. See you later. Bye. Well, there we go. That was uh, a very pleasant afternoon. Uh, I got everything I wanted, plus some presents for the kids for Christmas, which was an added bonus. And um, it's pretty much cost me nothing. Um, so, as I said, I've, I've paid for the electricity to get there. When I was there, uh, I got um, six pound back for my charging at Ikea plus I got free car parking at Ikea because I bought some things in there so traveling and parking has cost me nothing and in fact I was in credit so some of that money offset 
the items that I bought in IKEA. It's amazing. Um, and it brings me back to the fact that without an EV, I would not have done that today. I would have spent 30 minutes ordering those two items on the internet. But instead of that, I've had a lovely day out. Uh, you know, as much as I joke, I've actually you know had a nice time with my mother-in-law, who I very rarely get to spend just time with her um, ever, really. So that, that was really nice, just to have a chat with her and catch up. Uh, she's had a lovely day out. She's got lots of her shopping done, and she's really enjoyed herself. Uh, it's win-win, you know. Uh, that is all as a result of driving an EV. And that, for me, is the absolute flip side of the long journey and the problems that I had with that. You know, I could have done that journey today to Southampton and back without charging there. I chose to because I knew I'd get the money back. Um, it's peace of mind. It, it's easy. It's really, really easy. Now, I've got one more job to do when I get home. Uh, the driver's side windscreen wiper in this car has been smearing for ages and I've finally got around to ordering one and it's arrived so I've got to try and put it on. Now I've never changed one of these blade wipers before. I've had cars with them on but I have never kept them long enough in order to change a wiper blade. So uh, this is going to be a new experience to me. I think I might be popping on YouTube for a quick demo video. <laughs> I don't know, I was worried. It's exactly the same as changing any other wiper blade. <laughs> well, there we go. All I've got left to do is cook dinner, get this lot of shopping unpacked before the kids get home so they doesn't ruin their Christmas surprises, and um, put my feet up for the evening. That's the end of today's sort of shorter, more positive vlog um, about EVs. It was interesting that Quite soon after that long journey I did, uh, this opportunity of today kind of presented itself to show you the other side of EV ownership and the fact that you know, if you drive your EV within its limitations, uh, and for me, within the, the range and limitations that I had in mind when I bought it, and that was the whole reason I did buy it, uh, actually, it improves your day-to-day -day life. It gives you opportunities that for me, a petrol car wouldn't give me. I, I would, as I said before, I would never have done that today. And um, what a lovely day I've had. Uh, so it definitely helps and it definitely improves day-to-day -day life uh, for, I would say, your average person. You know, somebody who would think, I don't really want to spend that money on fueling my car just to go and buy a couple of bits and pieces. Actually, it's the complete opposite. It cost me nothing to go there and back, so it was an opportunity to have a day out. Um, so that brings today's more positive vlog to an end. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, remember to like and share. And if you're not doing so already, subscribe to the channel. Uh, and you can also find me on uh, Twitter and Instagram at EV Opinion. And I'll speak to you again soon. Take care.